So firstly, there is a concept of air bronchograms. Okay. So this everyone can understand this, especially when you have reported an HRCT uh, that it's very easy. There is a patch of consolidation, which is appearing white. And in between that, these are branching airways, which are filled with air. And they're going to appear black in the background of that white patch of consolidation. So it's really easy to visualize this concept of air bronchogram. Now, the correlate of these are also going to be seen on a lung ultrasound. And there are going to be two types of air bronchograms. We also have a real case in the form of a video where you can see this. What is the difference between a static versus a dynamic? So let's quickly read up about this. A static is telling you that there is an obstruction because the air is not having a free passage. There is no free to and fro movement of air in that bronchus, in that airway. So there is some kind of proximal obstruction, whether it is because of some mucus plugging, whether it is a mass, whatever it is sitting, it is causing a kind of obstruction to that airway. So distal airway appears dilated and it is a static air bronchogram because with breathing, with the respiration, there is no free passage of air in that bronchogram, in that airway. So it is going to stand for obstructive atelectasis. Understood. And these are going to appear as bright, linear, non-moving echoes. And on the other hand, if you talk about a dynamic air bronchogram, it is seen something in a typical consolidation, that is pneumonia, where you have these flickering echogenic areas which are going to move with every respiration. It's actually fun to watch them. So at the end of it, what do we take away is that dynamic air bronchograms are going to confirm the patency of the airways. The airways are patent. Background lung may have consolidation, may have a mass sitting over there, may have pneumonia or a collapse. But the airways which are present in between, which are giving this air bronchogram sign, they are patent airways. So there is no obstruction. And it will. Uh, it is going to favor infection over Okay, so let's watch the same thing with the help of a video. So, I hope you can see on your screens, the video will run. Let's see, I'll try. Uh, this is a collapsed lung which you are seeing. It is giving something like a hepatized appearance. It's actually looking like the liver, but it is the lung. And then the white ecogenic structures which are present inside is the air. Because let's always remember, air on USG is going to appear bright right on other modalities air is going to appear as dark so the first one which the video starts with is going to be the static bronchogram the patient is breathing despite of that you will see there that there is no movement the, the more common are static air bronchograms these represent air that is trapped within the bronchi and so when the lung moves... So air is trapped in the bronchus. However, it is not showing any movement with the breathing of patient. So static air bronchograms. Static air bronchograms can be found with any cause of consolidation, but don't really help us know what the etiology is. Now you see how the air is coming and going. Like the capillary action, you see small air bubbles are going to and fro with every breathing. In the consolidated lung causing the air in the bronchi to move with inspiration and expiration. They have a flowing quality, sometimes like... So air is flowing like within these airways, and so it is a patent airway, this is a dynamic air bronchogram, which is usually seen in an infectious setting, much more common, and so not in case of an obstructive setting. That something other than just okay. Now coming back to our class. Okay, so again, of course, in a static uh, image, it's not easy to understand. But once you have seen this video, you can never forget that how this air was coming and going with every respiration. However, here we see that it is going to be static. Okay, so because there is obstruction, there is no free passage of air with inspiration, with expiration. But if it's a patent airway, every time with inspiration, air comes in and with expiration, some air goes out. And because of that, you see that flickering movement. Mm -hmm. 